Hallelujah. The man of God, Daniel, and I, we want to encourage you to pray and to intercede. Hallelujah. We, we used to say you have your mouth to open. Open your mouth and pray and intercede. It means that in your intimacy, I mean, when you are at home or in your office, a little time, three, uh, you know, 30 minutes, one hour, Hallelujah, where you ask God, you say, God, I pray for my healing. Lord, I pray for my business. Lord, I pray for my kids. Lord, I pray for this and that. It's what we call intercession. And when you intercede, you include your family members, your friends, your country, nations, continents. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is what we call intercession. When you cry out to God, when you open your heart, we are so tired of seeing people suffering, people travel around the world. Instead of being free, they get more afflicted. Do you understand? They get more affliction or frustration. It's very painful. And they are looking for men or men or women of God. They, they come with the problem. The problem that they said they want to look after. Do you understand? Unknowingly, they get more affliction. That's why you have to learn to intercede at home. You have to set a time of prayer. So yesterday, the man of God, when we were praying and testing, it was so intense. Amen. And I begin to say, we call this uh, like a knowledge. When you begin to, to confess something, I begin to confess that wheresoever God going to meet you, where people are forgetting you. Some people, you are looking at me. Say amen. You are in a situation where you feel like you are this, you're still in the same place. In that same place, people have forgot, forgot you. People don't even remember you. People are, don't, you know, people don't even care about you. You are in that stage. I'm talking to somebody. If you feel that, that way, God is speaking to you. Shout out God. You are a person. You are a woman. You are a man. You feel like you are in the, in the place back like you are you you still 10 years back and people are 10 years forward in life than you and when they were 10 years back with you you they left you there 10 years back they left you 15 years back they left you 20 years back but i want to tell you they won't come back and get you say amen but god almighty is going to go back 20 years back is going to go and get you from there and put you on track in life. What I want to say is that people are late in life. You see people are advanced in life financially. They get married, they get kids. They are far in life. They finish with their education. They made it. But you, you are 30 years back. But I have good news for you. The God that created heaven and earth. Oh, hallelujah. Is going to go and get you and put you back on track. People will ask themselves, how can you, how, how, how can how you made it? It's impossible. We have been, we left you 20 years back there. We study, we travel, we do business, we did this and that, you were steady. You were stand, you were, you, you, you experienced a setback. Backwardness, stagnation, frustration, you were back there and we made it. How come you came and meet us? Do you understand? God is about to do it for you. God is about to lift you up. You are going to succeed. God that promised something in your life is going to go open the, the day. You are in a day like Joseph. There's a time where God is going to open the day. And you are going to come out of that day. Don't worry, child of God. The only things that God is asking you, the only assignment the man of God I, we are giving to you in the name of Jesus Christ is to take time in your tears and goni thirsty. Oh, mighty God, remember me, remember me. I stood 10 years back, 20 years back, 30 years back. God is going to come and meet you there. Say amen. His name is Yeshua Mashiach, his name is God. When you pray, 
I want you to confess that you are moving forward. You say, I am moving forward. I am moving forward. Anyone, anything, anyone, if somebody has messed up with your destiny, that's why you are still 20 years back. If anyone has put a delay, you must, you, you, you must exercise it. You have to learn to confess. Go confession. I'm going to make it. I'm going to be here. I'm going to marry it. I'm going to write kids. I'm going to build the house. I'm going to build business. I'm going to travel. You have to write the habit. Yourself, say amen, say amen. So, God bless you. We love you.